Hey guys, this is Alan Kavorkov from BeTheClaw.com, and we're going to be doing some virtual gaming in this episode. A while back, I demonstrated some uh, claw games that I found um, in Google Play Store, uh, and uh, this this time I'm going to play one game that I found recently um, that I really like. Uh, it's called Price Claw, uh, and it the reason I like it is that the claw itself looks very realistic. So um, I'm going to do one complete playthrough so you can see how this game works. And the reason I like it is that uh, the claw looks very, very realistic in comparison to the other, some of the other games that I played in the past. Um, um, this, act, this has uh, pretty decent music, uh, some sound effects. It, it, it's more, um, uh, more like the actual game, uh, whereas all the previous games that I played, they, 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 they worked fine. The, the physics were pretty, um, pretty accurate, but um, it just was not, did not have quite the right feel to them. This one. You can see the claw swaying, very similar to some of the real games out there. So I'm going for the um, for the yellow um, bear here. Now the only disadvantage here is that um, first of all, it doesn't have doesn't have any angles. You can't rotate the the game, so only you're only, only looking straight. Um, so you, it's kind of hard to tell where exactly the claw is when you're going, you know, forward. Um, but it's you can still kind of guess. Um, approximately where you should be, um, where you should stop after a few tries. Um, but this is a very, very simple game. There's, it's a single level. You don't, um, you know, once you clean out the the, the prize field, you, you, it, it's done. Um, so it's it, it's very simple in that regard. But I don't think that's really a problem. It certainly would be nice to have some additional levels and everything. But um, it is what it is. Um, I definitely, um, I can definitely appreciate the, the the simple, the simple nature of this game. You don't have to s score uh, coins. There are other games where you can play a certain number of times and you have to wait uh, until you had more uh, coins to play, and which really did not make any sense at all. Um, here, you can just play as much as you want. Um, the claw physics are extremely accurate. Um, the claw doesn't close all the way for some reason, but that's also um, kind of realistic. There are some machines out there that are just like that. So um, that's um, I, I really I, and I've I've been able to get some two and ones, um, which is um, also you know, adds to the realism because a lot of the other games. They're designed to grab a single prize, regardless of how the claw falls, with very, with very little regard to the actual physics. Um, here, it's extremely accurate. The physics are very, very lifelike. Um, so it's, um, it, it, I'm not sure. It's a free game, so I'm, I'm not sure how many times you'll end up playing. So maybe see, see if we can get two and one here. And you can see, <laughs> see, see how the, the prize fell out. And a lot of other games, if you grab the prize, it, it pretty much um, stays in the claw, no matter how how good or bad the grab is. Um, but yeah, the other games do allow you to rotate the prize field, so you can um, you know look at your angles and everything. So this is the only thing that this game lacks. And uh, um, I, in my review, I did mentioned to the developer that I would be more than happy to pay for this game if it was developed further and add some of those um, additional features but as far as the gameplay itself I would love it if it just stayed exactly the same in that all you have to do is just put the coin in and play you don't have to there's no none of those fancy stuff oh see how I put the uh, claw over the barrier here and it 
<laughs> didn't grab it completely. So very, very realistic, very awesome game. Um, just to pass the time, and it doesn't doesn't cost anything. Uh, so I, I definitely recommend if you have uh, if you have an Android-based uh, a smartphone or a tablet, it'll probably work. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure how well it, it'll work on on older. Oh, check this out! I, I grabbed this, grabbed it by the foot. That that's that's pretty neat. Um, see, that kind of stuff kind of adds it to, to to the the realist realistic feel to it. Because there are some other games out there that they all all prizes grab the exact same way. Um, this this one it grabs by whatever whatever is a grabbable grabbable part of the prize and um, so it, it, okay I think I I think I just missed oh <laughs> missed every, everything entirely um, but yeah and there's really there's really no there's no no settings in this game at all it's it's that it's that simple it, it just all you do is start it up put the coins in and then put the coin in play and once you're done you're done and like I said, in, in a way, I, I like the the simple the simple aspect of it. Because other games have tons of um, ads and just just really cluttered and complicated. In my suggestion to the developer, I believe I wrote um, that uh, I it would be nice to have multiple levels where you would have different prizes um, different you know, sizes and shapes because all these are you know, all, the, all the prizes in this game are even though they're different they're um, all kind of the same same thing uh, generic plushies so it definitely would be nice to have some variety maybe different um, Different size um, claws and prizes would be would be great if you had you know an option to choose from. Um, that plus the ability to uh, rotate the the play field so you can get get your angles. Okay, I missed the Let's see. Not sure how I just tossed all the prizes around. Um, it would be nice to be able to adjust the speed a little bit, but that's not not really that critical. I'm gonna go for the yellow guy here in the front again. It's it's a little hard to to kind of estimate where exactly the claw is. So if they added some sort of a um, either another view. Um, or like a shadow or something, so you can have, have some sort of an idea of where exactly you're dropping the claw. That would definitely be uh, very helpful. I kind of do like the sound effects. Um, they, they might get old after a while, but they're still... They're still pretty neat. They're probably better than some, most of the other games that I've played. I think I should be able to get this one out. I'm not sure if we're going to get any... Uh, oh, is it... Oh, it fell out. Um, not sure if I'm going to be able to get any uh, two new ones here. I'm definitely... Um, it would have been nice to be able to demonstrate that, but... I'm not sure if it's going to happen in this game. Try to go for. There's a little pile here. Try to get that. Maybe I can grab two and one. And just the red one, I think. Kinda of wish the claw wouldn't bounce up and down as it was going back to the to the price shoot. Because I don't think they usually do that. But eh, it's not so bad. And 
definitely not a big deal. Let's see if we can get a 2 and one here. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, no. Two and none, as we say. Mm. Well, there's still a couple of options that, that I might be able to try. I definitely need to grab two prizes, but it doesn't happen very often, unfortunately. Come on. Ooh, ooh, maybe. Uh, ooh. I uh, just rotated them. <laughs> Once again, two and none. Now there's a black or a brown bear, and there's a red one behind it. Uh, there were the brown ones laying on its side. And maybe I'd, if I can, if I can aim properly, I might be able to grab both of them at the same time. It's just kind of hard to tell where exactly the claw is when you drop it. Oh, maybe turn around. Turn around, turn around. Ah, oh, yes. Ooh, two. Really? Two and none? Almost? Did I just stab that one bear and, and the other one fell out? Ay, ay, ay. Yes! Wow. I think the claw got stuck. <laughs> Alright. Let me see if I can get that. Red one. No. Oh. Hit the hit the prize barrier again. Claw freaks out a little bit when you do that. And it definitely would be nice to be able to see where exactly you're dropping it. I think that's probably the It's probably the biggest disadvantage of this particular game, but it's still fun. I just like that they, they use the actual real type of claw to, to, to make this make this game, like the, the physics of how the claw is designed. This is probably the first one that actually you know, this is the first game like this. Um, all other ones look very um, um, they look more like um, at least some of them look more like uh, the, the UFO catcher with three prongs. Um, they just look kind of foreign. Not so much the, the metal kind of claws that we have on most machines. Yes! Uh, let's see if we can get a 2 in 1 here somehow. Uh, and you can see how the claw, you can, like you can use the swing technique if you move it back and forth because it sways so much. It's pretty awesome, don't you think? Alright, let's take it all the way back and see if we can get a 2 and 1 back there. Maybe, if it falls just right. Mm, it. I'd be lucky to get 1 and 1 at that rate. Yeah, these guys are very. This is a pretty, pretty easy game. They're just the, the 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 size, the size and shape of these uh, bears, and the obviously the strength of the claw. It would be awesome to be able to change the strength of the claw too, uh, depending on like if you were the operator, where you could set all the strength and payouts and stuff. Uh, it would probably, you know, definitely make um, the game more complicated to to create. But if someone actually went through that kind of <laughs> to those such lengths. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'd definitely pay for, for a game like that. Because then you, you, you can, if you could stock the game yourself, that would be even, even yes. more fun. Um, it just seems like the hardest part, it seems like the hardest part to create the game, to, to have those, the actual physics of the game, everything's already there. It's just someone needs to create a game that kind of uses all the actual um, uh, aspects of like being a vendor and having your own machine or whatever 
and not even not even being a vendor, just having your own machine where you can, you know, set up all the settings and, and pick the prizes and stock it yourself, mix and match, whatever. It just seems like that would be the easy part, you know. It seems like all the the hard part is to get the actual physics of the game, and they were there to have that, you know. What I mean? So I don't know. I wish someone would do that. I, I would certainly pay good money. I, heck, I'd, well, most of most of the games, most of, like apps uh, in in app stores and Google Play, there they're all like you know three three four bucks or whatever. I'd yes. pay quite a bit more than that for for, for if someone actually made a nice um, game that I used a, a lot of the um, actual claw machine um, features. But, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, because I always, I, I keep check. oops, that was bad. I keep checking the Play Store, and I've been regularly checking for for a long time. And, um, I, I try pretty much every single game that I, that comes out. And there have been a couple other games that, that, you know, have pretty decent, um, physics and decent graphics and everything, but... Um, this is the first game where the claw actually looks realistic, and that's kind of like a... It's definitely an important aspect of the game. You know, if the claw looks like something weird, then if, uh, for, for, for whatever reason, it just does not appeal to me. And I, really, I really, really like that this this one is it looks realistic, although it would have been better if it was um, kind of shiny. And I know they can do that. Probably is a little bit more graphics intensive if it if it's uh, reflective and you know uh, chrome or whatever. But uh, it's it's good enough. <laughs> uh, this one is uh, heck a lot better than all the other ones that I've played. So uh, maybe have it by the arms. Nope. It's kind of weird how it goes up in, in like, stages, you know, it's not as smooth straight up. I wish I could figure that one out. Um, I'm going to post the link to this game in, in Google Play in case you do have an um, Android a phone or a tablet that you, you can try if, if you want. It's definitely a fun game to play at least a few times. Um, I've played uh, maybe three four times. Um, cleaned it out, and it's it's still fun, you know. When you have some time to to kill, it, uh, for me, uh, I'm not sure. Probably 15 20 minutes for the entire um, playthrough, just depending on how how good you are and if you can aim well with the prizes, and it might take a little bit longer, but. In general, it should be probably be about between 10 and 20 minutes to complete one one full cycle. Ooh, 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 maybe can I get a note two and one? Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so close. And here I thought I'd get two and one on the last play. I guess not. Alright, well. Unfortunately, there weren't too many. There weren't too many exciting, or any really any exciting um, plays in this particular game that I just did for you guys. But um, as de the game is definitely capable of it. You know, it's capable of grabbing prizes a certain way. That, that's kind of cool, and or two and ones and stuff like that. But uh, unfortunately, not this time. But um, that's pretty much this game. It's called Prize Claw, and you can find it on Google Play Store. The link is in the description. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the end of the game. Um, Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.